Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Aaron the Black Dragon and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl. We are on the capsule decoration because you know what we did not do last time? We did not... Well, that's okay, let's do it like this first. We have not made uh, a ball capsule for our newest party member, so we definitely need that. So we have some toxin clouds and what would fit well as well? What is that? Spark sticker. Oh, electricity. We could give that to someone. Uh, some hearts, no stars, some ribbons. Let's have a smoke bomb right in the middle. There we go. And now we're gonna place ourselves a Pokemon in here. Let's go, Louis. You get that one. Anyway, we're back with Pokemon. And last episode we fought against everyone in the restaurant and I think I should probably heal here really quickly and now we're gonna move forward to the place we've uh, been before well, I was trying to catch Louie there but they wouldn't show up on that day so I had to resort to going into the underground and walk around there with them but anyway, regardless of that, today we're going into the swamp, into the marsh, because today I just want to explore it. I don't care about the Pokemon that we're gonna find, technically. Just want to explore around in there. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So let's go. Let's still have a look at what Pokemon we might find today. Sure, it costs me money, but whatever. Let's see. Sumeril. Surreal, I mean Quagsire Quagsire Okay And Meryl, okay Okay, we're just gonna take a look into one I don't care too much, really We're just gonna go and try to catch whatever we can Safari game, yeah, just 500 Let's go and see if we can find ourselves a few new Pokies <coughs> Also, there's some items strewn about everywhere, so that's also something that I want to do is go and grab myself some items. Have some relaxing time in here, trying to catch some mons. Maybe talk to a few people. Actually, let's talk to a few people. I found these during the Safari game. Each of these TMs contains Defog, but none of my Pokemon can learn that move. You'd be doing me a favor if you talk took these TM 97s. There we go. And we got Defog, the hidden moves that allows you to blow away white fog. Nice. Quick, quick, all on, all on the sticks. To and fro we go, real quick. If you think about going deep into the marsh, I recommend you take the Great Marsh Quick Tram. Yeah, but I wanna explore the close up areas first before I go anywhere in deep. Oh, there's an item, see? And what do we find? It's a Bidoo! Bidoo is new to this gen, isn't it? I think. Let's try and catch ourselves a Bidoo. Pokedex will be busy this episode, I guess. If I catch stuff, that is. And it ran away. We're not gonna catch one single thing this whole episode, right? Glitch will not have to do anything. No work for Glitch here today. Come on! Come on, yeah! Oh, Wooper! But you're sadly not new to this gen, so I will not care. Sorry. Bye, Whoop! Bye, Whoops! Love ya! But... Yeah. We're catching the gen-specific Pokémon to showcase them! Another bit to you. Let's see if we have more luck this time with catching it. Ball! Balls, balls, balls! I have no luck in catching a Badoo. Okay, Badoo, wanna have some bait? Did you enjoy that? Watch him be careful. Let's. Come on, jump into the ball. Let's be cool about it, Badoo. Come on, be cool about it, Badoo. Let's be cool about it, Badoo. There we go. 
Nicely done. And here it glitch. Let you, about Pokemon. It lives alongside Deer Pond. It's got a spawn that induces harsh sneezes and runny noses. It might also be responsible for you having all Don't these glitches lately. Don't tell anyone about Glitch, shut up. Nobody needs to know about that. The nickname will be... Uh, Pweedy. You're gonna be Pweedy. Pweedy. Here you go. No, not to my party. Pweedy, you're not gonna... Well, actually. Party? Let me just... Take a quick look. Technically, both of them still need to evolve. Nah. You go to the box, Pweedy. Maybe you get lucky next time. Hello, what is your dealio? Do you have a Badoo? No, you have a Quagsire. Well, we're not gonna catch ourselves a Sire. How about throwing food at Pokemon makes it easier to catch them, but while eating it, they are likely to bolt. Throwing mud at Pokemon makes it harder to catch, but it will also get angry and becomes less likely to bolt. Oh, what to do? I don't care about your trouble, I just do whatever I want to and have luck or not. Honestly, it's mostly down to luck for me. It's a Psyduck! Quack! That was... Oh, I threw a bowl. Well... I tried my best, I guess. Accidentally threw a ball at the duck. Not like I meant to do that, it just happened. A sire again! Look at it! Well anyway, moving forward. There's a nice little gust of wind coming through right now. Need to be a little bit... Oh, wow. So great, I cannot get anywhere else from here, so I need to go to the train tracks. I drive up, up as I need to go. No, wait, I'm actually already up as... Hey, you there! When you're walking in boggy parts, sometimes you get sunk down. Getting free of the bog takes time, which is a luxury in a safari game. Getting free this luxury or wasting my time? I got a pocket ball! But if you don't go into the boggy mud, you're not gonna find them on. Hey, bee barrel! I would catch you if I wouldn't already have you. Have fun! Stay safe, don't get caught, even though this is your only purpose living in here. A superb potion. Let me just take a quick look down there. Hello there, Starly. Don't care about you, we already got you. Let's have a look at what's up there. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! It's an old barrel! I wonder if I will actually find anything else interesting in here that we don't have yet. I mean, we got one thing. But do. But other than that, it's one month. Just hoping for more action in here. Whooper! But then again, I mentioned it earlier, in an earlier episode. This gen has. <coughs> more love for the older gens than for it, the generation that it is. There's so many old gen Pokemon, it's kind of infuriating. So yeah, it's kind of kind of a boring game to go through for, to find new Pokemon. I think the Pokemon you find here are different over time. Yes, they are. Oh gosh. Well, we caught one new mon. I'm not gonna go through all of that again. It's not worth it. Some trainers deliberately prevent their Pokemon from evolving. They wait until the Pokemon levels up and learn certain moves. That's good for them. You're just like a total, totally impatient boy I met earlier. Just like you, who was very close with his Pokemon. Hey, thanks for making me smile. These might put a smile on your face. They're bubble stickers, B. Uh, place them on a ball capsule. Thank you for your bubbles. I think we already talked to the uh, Grunt from Team Galactic. Pastorius Gym Leader is like breathtaking in a weird way. It's hard to explain. 
Don't know what I mean though. I'm gonna take a look at that in a moment. Hello, Nia. In the Great Marsh, they use quick trams on rails for transportation. They prevent damage to the Great Marsh ecosystem. Do they? What? Honestly, some trains prevent damage to the ecosystem. It's the first time I heard of a train not being uh, disruptive to the environment around it because of the noise that it makes and the shaking of the ground and stuff. I mean, yes, ecological, they are more friendly than any car. But still, environmentally friendly is still something that you only get with walking. You can argue about bicycles and uh, scooters and other stuff like that, but anything like motorized like that that's big and heavy, I don't think that's too environmentally friendly. Anyway, someone in the Great Marsh offered me a technical machine containing a hidden move, but I declined. I don't need it because the gym leader will use defog for us if we ever need it in this city. You're weird. Hear me out standing. I'm smack dab in the middle of town. Good for ya. Hey bud. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Move Maniac. I prefer Move Tilter. I know every move that Pokemon learn while they're leveling up and I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach a move to a Pokemon of yours if you'd like. I'll do it if you'll trade me a hard scale. Oh, that's it. That's an honest good hard scale. Let me guess. You want to teach one of your Pokemon a move? Which Pokemon needs tutoring? You know what? Let's see what you can teach Bell. Which move should I teach? So you have Block, you have Sunny Day, Weather Ball. You are still stronger with Attack. Tackle! Confusion, Confuse Ray, Prison, Gyro Ball, nah. Yeah, actually, nothing here. Thank you very much. Nothing of these moves. Let's see if Louis has some interesting moves. Poison Sting? No. Lear a Home Claw. Feel Stinger. <coughs> when the user knocks out the target with this move, the user's attack stat rises drastically. That seems nice. Poison Fang, Bite, <coughs> Toxic Spikes, always good. Bug Bite, Venoshock. You're more attacker than a special attacker, so Venoshock is not that good. Poison Fang would be a nice one. This may also have the target badly poisoned. I kind of want to have that for you. Let's do that instead of Scary Face, because I will most likely never use Scary Face. Let's learn Poison Fang here, because that seems to be a good thing. Do I still have... Uh, okay, I don't have any more hard skills. Okay, that was totally worth it for me. Let's see. Have you been to the Pokemon Mansion? The owner, Mr. Blacklord, likes to brag about it. his rare Pokemon. I'm not sure if I have to have been there. Is that the Pokemon Mansion? You know about Burmy and how they come in different forms. Do you have all forms of of that there Burmy? Oh, you don't even have a single Burmy. You don't like them. They're kind of mus mushy and cute. Mushy. The Burmy are an interesting example. They hint at how the environment can shape people's personalities. Sure. I just haven't found one yet. I saw the rare Pokemon that appear only in the Great Marsh. Good for you. The Great Marsh keeps the weather cool in the summertime. This is a good town for water type Pokemon. Cool. Thanks for all the hints and infos that are not relevant to me. I've been hiking all around the Sinner region. I love planting berries wherever I go. I'll give you a berry too. Please plant it somewhere. A yacht berry? Well, my sister gathers berries every day. Please come visit again. We cook the berries too. We mix them up. They're yummy. That sounds tasty. Well, anyway, let's see what this gym has in store for us and maybe we take it out in this episode. Uh, Astoria City Pokemon Gym Leader. Crash Awake, the tur Torrential Mast Master. Oh yeah, it's that one. Astoria City, Great Marsh. Just so that we had that view as well. So, it is a water type gym. We have one Pokemon that just 
is going to wipe the floor. We are here. Hello, buddy. You're definitely the wake. Uh, I mean, crash your wake. The master of water type Pokemon. I'd say you got guts if you try to face down water types with fire or ground type Pokemon. But that part I leave up to you. Go and have some good battles. I will. I will have some good battles. Let's go and battle them. For my electric type mom. Hi, buddy. My body isn't the only thing I work on toughening up here. I also work on my Pokemon and my spirit. I'm five! Yeah, maybe six, I don't know. I'm not that good with numbers. Well, there come the Buizel. Let's see what you can do against my Floof. There you go, get intimidated. Floof since all giddy. The first time... Well, don't get mushy on me yet. Just yet, Floof. We have a gym battle in front of us. Good job, Floof. Bye, Buizel. There we go. Camilla had reached a nice level there. Close combat. The answer to that. Close combat. The user fights the target up close without guarding itself. This, this allows also lowers the user's defense and special defense stat. It is a lot stronger than the power up punch. The thing is, this makes me stronger over time. But this is just strong, so we're gonna go for close combat because having to rack up the amount of uh, attack raises with the power punch until it becomes disruptive. It's faster if I just have something that immediately deals a lot of damage and not over time deals a lot of damage for the most fights. Wow, trainer, it just might be tougher than our gym leader. I'm going to wipe the floor with the gym leader. Also... What? Camilla is evolving. Camilla is evolving into something that will punch your face in really good look at her. Congratulations, you Camilla evolved to an Infernape. Nice. Well, Glitch, what do you have about that? Infernape, the flame Pokemon, its crown of fire is indicative of its fiery nature. It is beaten by none in terms of quickness, also not in ferocity that it will take out other monsters that threaten its family with. Well, good thing Camilla is on our side. Well, there we go, now we have Camilla fully evolved. We were so close last time, but we barely did not manage to get to that, so... I'm happy to have I've, I've mastered over the incredible power of water. You won't win. But I have electricity on my side. And I get some soap. So that the water gets electri electrically conductive. Or salt well, it works also. See, you can take out no problem. What do you remember this time, Fluth? Yeah, just awaiting my directions. Well, spark that thing. Oh, it already has the ground type? I thought it would... I thought it got the ground type only once it evolved. Well, remembered that wrong. Now my speed just fell. Well, bite that thing. <laughs> you still have a high attack stat and your good few levels above that thing, so... We might be a little bit overpowered with our level, despite the fact we're not doing anything except for fighting the same things over and over. Uh, for fighting just the trainers along the way and catching only the Pokemon that are new to the gen. But the kid wins anyway. I'm just bowled, bowled over. Yes, you are. So I don't know. I'm not doing anything that drastically different and we're still ending up being way stronger than anyone here right now. Hey, bud. I've traveled all over the globe while raising Pokemon. This is the gym I've chosen. You'll find it a handful for sure. Will I though? Will I though? Will I though? Will I though? A Wingo. That thing's so bad. Four times weakness, buddy. 
Oh, you can't know that just yet. I mean, now you know. Four times weakness, buddy. That wingle's so dead. Fluth, why you so giddy? Haven't I used you in a while? You seem to be rather giddy right now. I mean, I mean it's cute. But why? Why, Fluth? I've never seen you this giddy before. Maybe it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna murder everyone. Just like Camilla would do. Just with the difference, Camilla would probably have some really bad time in this gym. Oh wow, you used quick attack. Well, that way at least got a little bit of chip damage in. Too bad it's not gonna help you that much, buddy. Well. Sorry, Damien. You. You're a kid of top class, though. I am, thank you. I'm top notch. Well, I'll have to walk around and try to figure out how to go. Maybe I'll do like wake, I mean crash awake, and wear the same kind of mask. Sure. I want to become a strong trainer like crash awake. He is probably a little bit full of himself for having everyone in the gym calling him crash awake. Hey Azuril, it's a normal type. It is not even a water type yet. And you're still all giddy, Fluth. I never knew you were such a giddy one, Fluth. Anyway, bite that thing. There's no need to go in there with electricity, really. Hey! Oh yeah, because it has the fairy type. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. They got the fairy type. So of course my... Yeah, there was a little bit of a bad mishap there. Well, Meryl, they got the fairy type. I 100% forgot about that. For me, it was just normal and water. But no, they have the fairy type now. Have I mentioned it enough now? Did you get it? They have the fairy type. If you still haven't gotten it, how dense are you? Good job, Thirst. Headbutt! How Thirst Trap can go headbutting with anyone. With a pound, you're gonna headbutt with them now. Let's go, Thirst Trap. Kill with them. Let's headbutt them. Caitlin. Uh, you're too much. I am. That's why nobody watches these videos. Because I'm just too much. I've landed the most fish Pokemon in the world. I'm next. I don't quite get what you wanted to tell me with that, but sure, I support you in all of your fishing adventures. It's a Goldeen! I'm still not 100% sure about everything. But again, I support you as much as I can. Really, it's in my utmost interest to support you as much as I can. Well, also uh, by shocking your fish. It is also a big part of what I am all about. I just realized, at this point in time, my whole team is weak to uh, ground type moves. The only um, outlier in this situation right now is Bell because Bell has Levitate and cannot be hit by ground type moves. But other than that, Camilla, fire type, weak to, the, to ground type. Louis as a... that character is gonna get it. Uh, as a poison type, weak to ground type moves. Fluth as electric type, weak to ground type moves. Uh, so, and uh, yeah, uh, Bell as a steel type, weak to ground type moves. Four of my Pokemon that are main in my party are weak to the ground type moves. Just with the difference, one just cannot be hit by it. Being number one in the world doesn't mean anything. It doesn't, because how do you even find out if you're really number one? There's someone out there that might be better at the thing you're doing, and they just don't take part in any tournaments, and therefore you would never know if they are actually, if you are actually the number one or not, <coughs> because they do, did show up. So you never know, you're just the best out of all the people that took part in the contest but you don't have to be the best in the world 
Anyway, hey there, buddy. Like the raging sea, I crash down and wash away everything before me. That's just how I roll. Apparently, and it's just now making click with me, the sailors have the same smooth music that also uh, the fishermen have, which is still hilarious to me. Boink boink. Oh, wait, do you have the ground tap already? No, you get it only once you are evolved, so you're just gone. Grass type Pokemon would really make this stupidly easy with all the water ground type Pokemon that exist nowadays. Good job, Fluth. That is sexy. Wish you would have gotten the three in your attack set and not your special attack, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that too much. Spark. Dead. Burn. Down. It's this Shallows. Shallows. Look at them. They're so cute. And also, they're dead. And Zap. Zip Zap's point. And Louis! Nice! That's good! That wave didn't even wash my hands. Well then... Sorry about that. So now I should be able to just make it... Yeah, I already fought you. Uh, <coughs> so before we take you on... I'm gonna take a potion to Floof's face. And your attacks, you have 9 uses still left in Spark, you will not need them because there's gonna be some monster in there that will resist the electricity. So let's go in there. Hey, break a wave. Crash awake, whatever. Welcome! I don't get challenged very often. The glow you are now beholding is the Pastoria, is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake! My Pokemon were toughened up by the stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Now come on, let's get it done. Uh, <coughs> I'm curious to see how this fight will play out. How strong are your mods? Do I need to be worried? You have huge hands. Gyarados, that thing's dead. And that's so fast. Yes, I know, you're really giddy about all of that. And counter intimidate. We're both very intimidated by each other. It has level 27. It is 9 levels below blue. <coughs> what were you expecting at this point? Not too shabby. Quagsire, I'm gonna switch over to Bell, just because uh, I'm a little bit terrified of the ground type moves. And Bell, Levitate, does not care about the ground type moves. Hey there, Sire, extra sensory. Also, Bell is strong now, so I'm not too worried about this taking forever. And Bell is good in defense, so. Really? Bell evolved in a good ma uh, time. <coughs> Had a good time. And became really a useful asset to the party for this. There you go, Bell. Nicely done. Good stats. Floatzel. We're gonna switch back to Fluth. Because Floatzel is pure water. It might be faster than Fluth because of Aqua Chest, and in general, I think Floatzel is pretty quick. But we'll see about that. Hey, that there! That was a good move. Thank you! It is level 30. Let's see how well you will deal with that. Let's see if you are faster than I am. You are, and you know Brian. Brian O'Connor. Ah. And that's it. Sorry about that. There you go, Plumy. 
Well, there you go, Blake. <sighs> it's gone and ended. How will I say this? I want more. I want to battle a lot more. If you only have those Pokemon, you're not gonna have a lot of chance. It seems the Undertow pulled me under. But I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. Yeah, don't look at how the badges look. You received the fan badge from Wake. Thank you. You need that fan badge to use the hidden move Defog from your pocket. These are specially rewarded. These are a special reward for me in recognition of your team's power. Yeah, I, got I get stickers from Wake. TM 55s. Brian? Those TM 55s contain the move Brian. It inflicts double the damage on targets which, with less than half their HP. Use it to end battles dip decisively. Thank you, Wake. Well, that was a nice and fast gym. The only problems that could have occurred were with the ground water type Pokemon. But even those, as long as you have as long as we have Bell in the party, there's no problem with them. Anyway! That's going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, apparently, how about you leave a comment down below? Like, subscribe, hit that bell. There you go. That's for you, YouTube. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.